Hello everyone, Mrs. West here with this week's lesson. This week we're going to talk about colors and we're going to talk about three very important colors that you've already learned about. They're yellow, blue, and red. And they're called the primary colors. Primary means first. So these are the first colors. These are the colors that you use to make all the other colors. Now, artists like to arrange their colors in a certain way. They put them in a special circle called the color wheel. Now, today we're going to make a very interesting color wheel together, but I want you to stop to watch a read aloud video first. The link is right here on Google Classroom. So please stop now and watch this video about three adorable mice. Okay, you're back again, so let's get started. For this project, you're going to need paper, pencil, and coloring materials. Markers, crayons, whatever it is you would like to use. Okay, get everything together. Okay, now in the video, you saw these three adorable white mice that were jumping into pots of paint. Okay, we are going to make a mouse color wheel today, and this is what it's going to look like. Okay, I have my little mouse in the center, but if you notice, this little mouse is not white. He is a brownish gray. And I made him a brownish gray because that's what happens when you mix the three primary colors together, whoosh, you get a brownish gray. So that's why I stuck him in the middle that way. Okay, so get your pencils and let's get started. Okay, the first thing we want to draw is the mouse himself. And I'm going to use a marker for this because it's easier for you to see. But you're probably going to want to use a pencil so that you can erase any mistakes. The first thing we're going to do is make an oval in the middle of our page. A long oval for the mouse's body. I am going to give this mouse two ears, two little circle ears, and I'm going to give him two arms. I'm going to give him three fingers on each hand. So as you can see, I'm making two straight lines, diagonal straight lines, and then three little loops. The same thing for his legs. Two straight lines and three little loops. Two straight lines and three little loops. Okay, let's give our mouse a face. We'll give him two little mouse eyes that I made round, and I'm going to make a tiny little triangle in the center for his little mouse nose. I did not put a mouth on my mouse, the other one, but let's put a little mouth on this one. Little mouse mouth like that. Two little curved lines. And now some whiskers. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, here's our little mouse. Now, just for fun, let's put a brush in his hand. So I'm gonna make two lines like this. They're gonna come to a point over here. And then I'm going to make this part of the brush that holds the hairs of the brush. And then the hairs of the brush usually are kind of like a, a teardrop shape, I guess. So I'm gonna go whoop, 
a flame. It looks kind of like a flame. Okay, do the best you can on this. There is a brush. Now, surrounding our mouse, we're going to have six shapes that look like little puddles of paint. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's make six wiggly, organic type shapes around our mouse. Okay, anything goes here. I'm going to make the top one first, and then I'm going to make two more down here to kind of create a triangle, yellow, blue, and red. So let's put a shape down here, and another blobby shape down here. Okay, that's going to be my yellow, my blue, and my red. Now I have to take make the three secondary colors, which are the colors you mix together to create another color. So we're going to have an orange here, a green here, and a purple here. So orange goes in here. Green's going to go over here. And purple will go down here. Now, if you want, you can write the names of the colors, but I would wait until after you finish coloring it in. Okay, so yellow. Next primary color, blue. Nice juicy markers make the color go down very quickly. Red. Okay, here comes the mixing. Well, not really mixing. We're pretend mixing. What color do you get when you mix red? and yellow. If you said orange, you are 100% correct. So here comes our orange. Okay, what do you get when you mix yellow and blue? If you said green, you are correct. Fill that in with green. And last secondary color would be a combination of red and blue. And that would give you, if you said purple, you are correct. There we go. We have our color wheel. Now, I am not going to take the time right now to color in the mouse, but I am going to color in my brush. Most of my paint brushes at school have a black handle. And the hairs on the brush are brown. On most of mine, pretty dark brown actually. Okay. At this point, you can decide if you want to add the names of your colors, like I did here. Okay. And also, if you want, you can color in your mouse. But it's okay if you leave him blank and keep him white, like this one. Okay, so... Make sure you follow the instructions. If you forget something, you can always play the video again. Okay, so let's get started. I can't wait to see what your mouse color wheels look like. Ta-ta for now.